um, hello everyone um, it's been a while since uh, I made my last video I think it was uh, last January before I got my lumbar puncture and um, um, today I am going to uh, uh, tell you I think this is the worst news ever um, worse than the last time <laughs> and um, well first I will give you an update regarding the first uh, lumbar puncy, puncture that I had and uh, it the, the result came in and of course uh, it's confirmed that the, the tumor has a new spread and it's in the brain fluid as I've mentioned before and uh, after six weeks or after four weeks of taking the double dose Dagreso, uh, the first MRI last two weeks ago, which is uh, in February, uh, the doctor said that it looks positive. The cancer or the metastasis, they see less, but uh, the remaining uh, metastasis, they are very, very active. So the doctor already told us that it might, the, the Tegreso might not work longer maybe two months maybe six months we don't know but they don't expect that the cancer or the the, the aggressor will work for a long time and uh, that was yeah two weeks ago what he said and after that um, uh, I also feel like I'm not really getting better I had a f I had a few days that I was feeling good but most of the days I was really really sick and uh, last week I had the, the I think the worst terrible uh, uh, days um, and I was in bed for four days I was throwing up uh, I was dizzy I was not able to eat and at that time I already have uh, my medicines uh, already increased the dosage so it was all like double dose everything and not having anything to eat to drink was really difficult so i had really stomach pain and then i called my doctor and asked them if i can have a medicine that can help me at least not vomit so i can still eat and i can take my medicine with i think that's more effective than you don't have anything really uh, nutrients in your body to support it um, so they gave me a medicine and uh, it helped with the vomiting, the nausea, um, but they also suggested that Friday, last week Friday, to have the lumbar puncture again. Um, they suspected that the pressure in my brain is very high and normally if you do the lumbar puncture, it decreases the pressure and it helps with the headache. Um, but we couldn't make it last Friday, so we, uh, or the doctor, decided to do it last Tuesday um, uh, uh, for, for it. As you can see, I'm in the hospital right now because when we arrived here uh, last Tuesday um, for the lumbar puncture, um, they, they did not send me home anymore. Um, and it was also, it took them a long time to be able to uh, do the procedure because I think because I was having this headache for a long time and and I, I have to uh, position every time I move or walk, I have to position myself in a way that my head is straight. I don't, uh, uh, I cannot move it tra fast if I go right or left, but just really straight, looking forward, not too much down not up you know because then it causes also a headache so I kind of developed this like a robot movement so when they did the uh, lumbar puncture it took them six times to be able to really uh, get it successfully and it was so painful <laughs> it was really really painful and after the and after the uh, puncture uh, I had seizures, so I was really shaking uh, and I couldn't breathe. Uh, my neck, my head, I feel like it was like exploding. It was too much and uh, I was really in that, um, uh, 
what you call that uh, I was in that uh, condition for like 20 30 minutes um, so the doctor was alarmed of course and uh, they also uh, suggested that I should stay in the hospital because they want to monitor if everything will be okay um, at the same time the doctor also uh, talked to us or told us that uh, her suspicion is that, um, that there's an increase of uh, metastasis again so Tagreso is kind of hoping but it's too weak for the uh, cancer you know I mean the cancer is very active that the Gresso couldn't really uh, it's overpowered by the, 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 the cancer so um, it's not it's not that it's not working it's working but it's not enough to make the stop or make them uh, inactive at the moment you know um, and it's going so fast that's why my pain is escalating um, and it seems like I'm not really getting better so um, that's why the doctor said of course I have to see the result of the puncture tomorrow so that was Wednesday today is Friday and um, the partial result of the uh, puncture but she suspected that it is the case and and um, that I just have a few weeks left so um, we don't know if it's two weeks if it's three weeks or she said it could also be months but at the moment we cannot give you any more treatment and uh, we just uh, uh, manage with the pain so we help you to have uh, less pain as possible in your remaining days so that was the, what the doctor said so uh, yeah the, uh, she said that because of my current condition that I am not physically stable some days I'm okay some days not I'm in extreme pain headache it's not advisable to give any treatment either radiotherapy or chemotherapy because they are both very harsh uh, treatment and you have to be physically stable to receive such treatment um, because if they will give it to me now it, it will um, I won't be able to make it so instead of having a few weeks it will be days uh, because it will only get worse for me uh, physically I won't be able to take it and um, she also said that um, chemo uh, is not proven effective in this kind of metastasis neither is the radiation and it and if, if, if it would have been the, the perfect treatment for me they would have given it already long time ago but because that's not proven effective and because of the um, uh, the position or where the metastasis is located this is a very difficult place to treat and to really have a, a, an effective treatment so the conclusion is at the moment I don't have any more treatment unless things will there's a miracle and things will really change physically for me uh, then there will be new plans but for now no more treatment uh, just uh, a pain reliever to help me with the pain to uh, get less pain as possible and um, uh, and yeah let's see how it goes and continue with the yeah we will continue with the Gresso because that's um, that's the that's the thing that kind of not really stopping it but kind of delays it a bit um, of course in a perfect scenario it would be like that the aggressor will be able to stop like the rest of what's happening in my in my metastasis, metastasized organs um, but it doesn't show that strength at the aggressor at the moment so we don't know uh, yeah so basically we don't know but the doctors 
just want to manage our expectations that because there's no more additional treatment at the moment and the cancer is spreading, spreading so fast that I will deteriorate also very fast. And that's why um, they said I have a few weeks left. Um, also, um, at the moment, we are already talking about hospice care. Um, we are I, I, for now. I will I will go home. Uh, in after this, I will go home. And uh, if things will get really worse, you know, and I cannot handle it, and uh, physically as well, um, there I'm already in a waiting list for hospice care. Um, um, close to our place, there's two. Um, I'm already in the waiting list, but um, for now, that's not something I want. I want to be with my family, to be at home, uh, to spend as much time with my family as possible. So, um, yeah, currently, it's not looking well. It's not, uh, uh, actually, this is the second day uh, I woke up without headache. Um, in the longest time I can't remember the last time uh, to be waking up like normal with no pain um, but yeah I hope it will continue like this um, I know that the that, 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 uh, big factor of me feeling uh, like this is because my medicines they are really in a high dose now I'm taking so much painkillers morphine really high morning and evening um, I have a short term as well, you know, dexamethasone, it's also now six milligrams to uh, help you with the, with the pain as well. So everything is in high dose uh, at the moment and um, maybe that is, yeah, keeping me high on drugs and keeping the, the pain uh, less, uh, less, you know, but yeah. Um, this is really unexpected for us, a big shock for us. And well, we know that it's not really working uh, as well, but we did not expect weeks. At least we thought maybe a few months, months at least, you know. But yeah, I really don't know what to say. And it's actually very hard to make this video. Um, because I'm hoping, you know, I can give more good news than a more sadder news. So, um, well, I know that, um, uh, you know, as a believer, we always uh, have that hope and uh, pray for miracles that it can happen. And um, I think for me, that's the only thing I can wish for. Um, that there is a miracle and um, things will still um, uh, get better at least and um, um, I will be able to celebrate the birthday of my son Kayo in four weeks. <laughs> We're thinking about celebrating the birthday a bit sooner. Uh, yeah, but so um, we can have a party sooner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Party, yeah. I think I won't complain about that. <laughs> that yeah. we will get a um, present sooner. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, for those that are praying for me, please continue to pray for me and <laughs> let's um, um, uh, pray for miracle. Um, I'm not losing hope, of course, it hurts, it, 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 yeah, it, it's sad, but I'm still hoping that, yeah, there's a miracle and could um, maybe extend my life as possible, and, um, but yeah, I'm asking for prayers, you know, um, and I hope, yeah, I hope things will get better. Um, Hopefully, you know, that's all I can ask for. That's all I can hope for for now. And um, yeah, we don't know what's going to happen. Nobody knows. But um, I, I'm keeping my faith 
and um, hoping for uh, yeah hoping that it will yeah things will happen uh, at least uh, you know uh, yeah I hope not in weeks where yeah my 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 son's birthday you know so yeah we will see and um, yeah if I cannot make a video um, myself then I will ask Tom to help me out with it so you guys will be updated in the coming days but uh, I just thought I'll uh, some I, I already have missed some comments and asking how I'm doing so um, yeah um, sorry that it took a while for me to to respond but uh, I will try my very best to keep you all updated and if not me Tom can also uh, uh, keep this uh, channel open and I'm also thinking in one of these days maybe I can make a YouTube live so if you have any questions we can I can answer it right away and maybe that's easier you know to have these uh, updates or uh, communication so um, I will I will of course make an announcement before so those that have questions and want to participate in that live uh, you, uh, 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 streaming then we can do it together uh, hopefully so guys it's uh, Friday it's um, weekend <laughs> so uh, I hope you guys will enjoy the weekend and uh, I hope to see you soon